Good evening, St. John's. Had a really nice experience today. Henry sent me a text message that said, hey, Dad, can we make this? And it was a margarita pizza with a sourdough crust. Henry likes sourdough, Catherine doesn't, and Catherine's still at her aunt's house, so now's the time to do it. But of course, it takes a while to make a sourdough starter, so I started thinking through how long is it going to take to make the sourdough starter, and da da da. And then I realized, you don't have to make your own sourdough starter. See if there's someone who already has one they could share, because that's the nature of sourdough starters. They could just be shared endlessly. So I went on to Facebook. Does any Gig Harbor friend have a sourdough starter they could share? And in minutes, Laura Almas wrote back, I've got a really good one. I'd be happy to share it with you. Um, is tomorrow soon enough? Yes, it is, Laura. It is definitely soon enough. Uh, it's much faster than I can make it myself. And then she wrote, come in the afternoon. There's plenty of hydrangeas to cut as well. And here's what I love about that experience. Um, First of all, just practically, it was a good solution. Um, she has sourdough starter, I need it, uh, and she could give it to me. Uh, but at a deeper level, it represented uh, such a sign of life in the midst of isolation caused by the pandemic. Uh, and of course, the pandemic is happening within an American culture where we're so used to individualism and you just look out for yourself. And it was so nice to be able to articulate to the world via Facebook, I have a need, and for my community to respond, I have a solution. <laughs> and I think this is the way we must choose to live uh, during this time, uh, to be willing and proactive to communicate with one another what we do need, and when you hear that need, to be willing and proactive to say, I could help solve it for you. And that's how community and life is going to continue to happen in this time of isolation uh, and will overturn what isolation means. And then I especially love the fact that in doing so, it also comes with flowers. <laughs> There's hydrangeas available to cut and bring into your home. There's a, a flourishing, a blooming of what it means to be in community together. And of course, in the church, when we're talking about community, we're talking about communion, we're talking about Eucharist, we're talking about the way we know ourselves to be one with one another and the God who made us. So thank you, Laura. Thank you, God, for hydrangeas and the magic of sourdough starters. And thank you for hope in the midst of death. Let's pray. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide, to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early, and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts, even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts, and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips. That our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Psalm 23. Dear God, you sustain me and feed me like a shepherd you guide me. You lead me to an oasis of green to lie down by restful waters. You refresh my soul for the journey and guide me along trusted roads. The God of justice is your name. Though I must enter the darkness of death, I will fear no evil. 
for you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before my very eyes in the presence of those who trouble me. You anoint my head with oil and you fill my cup to the brim. Your loving kindness and mercy will meet me every day of my life and I will dwell in the house of my God forever. A reading from Luke. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. Do good and lend, expecting nothing in return, for God is kind to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you, for the measure you give will be the measure you receive. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve, Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch in Christ, and the sleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled, and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth, the maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. To God the Creator who loved us first and gave this world to be our home. To God the Redeemer who loves us and by dying and rising pioneered the way of freedom. To God the Sanctifier who spreads the divine love in our hearts. Be praise and glory for time and for eternity. The Divine Spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Good night, Kick Harbor.